Okay, I got two slides. This one from near the uh, Royal Gorge in Colorado, and there's a transparency. And I've cleaned them before I do with kind of a, a, a lintless towel. And so I, while I'm waiting for one to scan, I scan. I get the next one ready just by brushing it. I don't use the can of air because you run the cost too much. With a cloth works even better. Okay, and this one here is from the Silverton Durango. Railroad. Now, if I look on the slide, I can see the date on this was. I got my magnifying glass. It's kind of small, but I think it's 1994. Yeah, July 5th of 1994. What that means is that's when the slide was processed. It doesn't necessarily mean that's when the picture was taken. That was the processing date. These are relatively new, and these are plastic slides, not the old cardboard type. Some of the old cardboard types. Like this, the old color transparencies. Actually, this one had the date on it, July of 70. So this was actually a sunset picture from July of 1970. Okay, now, over here, I'm going to take the camera from Kathy, so who's holding it, is yes, we got the side scanner. And it's this unit right down here. This is the Pacific Images. 1800 and you can see I got the note on there unplug power a flatbed scanner to make this work so I did unplug my flatbed goes up like such okay now I'm gonna put in the first slide and I put it in with the um, where I see the numbers up so that's gonna go in like such and it just slides in just like that so judging time wise Here's the slide here. I'm gonna get the cap. Okay, here's the slide. I'm putting it in just like this. So you okay, now backing up to the computer screen. On the screen, Photoshop is open. I'm going to file, import, and I'm going to Cyberview X because that you don't have to get close to that. That's the uh, software for the scanner. So it's initializing the scanner. Now you're not going to have to do this for each one, just the first one. Okay. So here it shows the type, film type. If I click on that, it shows negative, Agfa, Fuji, Generic, Kodak, and Konica. Positive. Now these are positives because these are slides. And I got it set for Kodak 100 film because that's mostly what I shot. Over here, I have a pre-scan where I can scan it ahead of time. You can see if you want to scan all of it or just part of it, but I generally don't. And next to it I got scan. So now I'm going to click on scan and it's preparing the film scanner. It says please wait. And you come over here to the scanner and now you can judge the time. And it does two two passes. The first one to kind of read it, and then the second one actually scans it. So on the second one, you can kind of put your timer on. This will be the first one. So here, it hasn't scanned it yet, but I mean on the second slide, not the second pass. Now it's going to come back, and it's actually going to scan it. You got to see it closer. So it's going through it. It's about halfway through the uh, one inch by inch and a half slide now. And up on the screen, it kind of shows the progress. Then, okay, keep watching. Hold on a second. You see the background? There is, in fact, in the background, the picture. How is the picture? But the scanner program is still open. So if you come back over to this side, start counting the time now. I'm taking out the first one, putting in the next one, trying to get it in straight up, rushing so it looks quicker, but okay. Goes in like such. Yeah, that's in. And I'm clicking on scan.
okay, and I had clicked out of it anyway, so starting now. The slides in, I click scan. Start now. It's calibrating the film scanner. There it goes. And it's going to do two passes. First pass is like it's looking at it, and the second pass is actually scanning. Okay, go to the screen. Okay, so it's done the two. Now, the next step is we're going to look right here and see. You don't have to get close. There's the second picture. I'm going to close this program. Let's suppose I had done 20 of these. I'm closing the program. Would you like to apply current scanning resolution to default? No. Okay, now the two pictures are here. Okay, there's one on top of another. But they haven't been saved. They're just listed as untitled. And it's pretty much the full frame. What I'll do here is scan or crop out a little bit of the dark edge. I go to, with the marching ants, I go to crop, and then I go control shift L to kind of do a color shift to brighten the colors, and then a control M to maybe brighten them a little. And say, okay, so now there's the Durango Silverton Railroad. Now you get an idea of how, of how good this is. Okay. If I go to the magnifying glass, Captain sneezing. Okay, so if I would zoom in on this, considering it's an inch and a half side, you can tell that's Kathy. Okay, I mean it's that it's that good of a scan. And you can use the wheel to back it out. Okay, now I'm gonna save it as Okay, it's going to save as. So I'm going into the desktop. I'm going to put in 94-07 because it was 1994 in July.